Hey everyone, it's GFC, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly and efficiently get the ATEC rank in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. The ATEC rank allows you to win many cards that you can't win on any other ranks. The best example is the card Megamorph, which you could win by atec Pegasus. Before I begin, I want to make something clear. The rank of ATEC has the exact same card drops as the rank of STEC. Many of you likely remember making your opponent run out of cards in order to get the STEC rank. This tutorial will allow you to win the exact same cards, but it's much quicker and easier than using the deck out method. With that out of the way, let's begin. In order to get the ATEC rank, you have to fulfill certain requirements before completing the duel. Some of the requirements are interchangeable, so there are a few different methods you can use to get an ATEC. This video is going to cover the three best methods of approaching an ATEC. Keep in mind all three methods are very similar to one another, with only minor changes between them, and which method you choose is going to be up to you. During this video, I'm going to tell you the requirements for all three methods. I've also uploaded a video example of each ATEC method and included video annotations you can click on after each method is described. I've also included a link to each example in the description, so watch them if you want to see any of those methods in action. Method 1 is known as a 4 Effective Attack ATEC. In order to get this ATEC, you must do the following during the duel. Fuse 15 times or more, get 4 Effective Attacks or more, and by the way, an Effective Attack is counted when you destroy an enemy's monster and deal life point damage at the same time. For example, if you attack a Blue Eyes White Dragon with a Meteor B Dragon, you will destroy the Blue Eyes and do 500 life point damage at the same time. That's an effective attack. Activate one trap or more. Activate one magic card or more. Use one equip or more. Have less than 7,000 life points remaining. Play one card face down or more. And by the way, for this, you can just make sure to play your trap card face down, and then you never really have to think about this requirement. Have three or less cards remaining. Nine turns have gone by or more. And by the way, a turn is counted whenever you, the player, end your turn. An easy way to tell that nine turns have gone by is by checking how many cards the opponent has remaining in their deck. Since the opponent usually only uses one card per turn, you know 9 turns have gone by once your opponent has 27 cards remaining in their deck or less. However, if your opponent uses more than one card during any of their turns, for example if they fuse, then this number would be 26. Most of the time you shouldn't have to worry about this requirement, as 9 turns almost always go by naturally regardless, but it's good keeping in mind. Click on this video annotation to see an example of a 4 effective attack ATEC. If you complete all of these requirements, you will be given the ATEC rank. Remember, if you accidentally mess up and you get a BTEC rank, you can check the dual stats screen at the end of a duel to find out which requirement you didn't fulfill. That way, you can figure out what you did wrong and fix it for next time. Method 2 is known as a 4 Magic ATEC. Here are the requirements. Fuse 15 times or more. Use 4 Magic cards or more. Activate 1 Trap card or more. Use 1 Equip or more. Have less than 7,000 life points remaining. Play 1 card face down or more. Have 3 or less cards remaining. And 9 turns have gone by or more. Click on this video annotation to see an example of a 4 Magic ATEC. You'll notice that most of the requirements are exactly the same between Method 1 and Method 2. For the 4 Magic ATEC, we're pretty much just using 4 Magics instead of doing 4 Effective Attacks. By doing so, we no longer have to do any Effective Attacks. This method is slightly slower on average, but it's also generally easier to keep track of since you can put all four magics face down and keep track of them easily. Method 
Method 3 is the 5 Equip A tech. This method is the fastest on average, but also requires having 5 equips you can easily use, so it's only situational. But if you do have a deck that can do it, it's definitely the fastest method. Here's the requirements. Fuse 15 times or more. Use one magic card or more. Activate one trap card or more. Use five equips or more. Have less than 7,000 life points remaining. Play one card face down or more. Have three or less cards remaining and nine turns have gone by or more. Click on this video annotation to see an example of a 5 equip A tech. Before this video ends, I want to mention one last thing. You can actually mix and match a few of the requirements in order to reduce other requirements. For example, you can use 4 magics and do 4 effective attacks. By doing this, you now only need to perform 10 fusions instead of 15. You can do the same thing with the equip requirement. For example, if you use 5 equips and do 4 effective attacks or use 4 magics, you only need to perform 10 fusions. There are many different ways you can combine these requirements to get an ATEC. In the description, I've included a chart that explains exactly how the rank is affected by the different requirements. By using this chart, you can figure out many different ways to get an ATEC depending on your situation. But these three methods I've described in this video are by far the most popular and effective ways to get the ATEC rank. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope this video helps you understand how to get the ATEC rank in Forbidden Memories. Remember, I've created example duels for each ATEC method I described in this video, so check out the description and watch those examples if you want to see these methods in action. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more Forbidden Memories content. Have a great day everyone, see ya!